Hey everybody, so today I have here a laptop. It's a Lenovo laptop. It came actually like this. So I got all these bags. I have lots of different things. Looks like the customer tried to fix it themselves and there's some type of problem with it. It looks like they said there was a power switch issue and they soldered it and everything. So that was great to find out. Unfortunately, it looks like the board has a little bit too much damage because what the customer tried to do was actually solder it. it was a little bit beyond repair after that. Usually for some of these Lenovo's, you can see there's a power switch here. Um, usually there's a little piece of plastic that actually goes on top of it. And once you keep pushing it over time, it actually is so fragile that it does break. And he tried to fix it himself. The piece of plastic that's supposed to go on top is missing. And once you lose that, there isn't too much you can really do to repair it. So you kind of have to replace it. So this is the Lenovo Yoga 73015iKB. There's actually a, a real thing, a real bad thing going on with the ThinkPads. Actually, the USB-C port on most of the Lenovo ThinkPads, I think for the last few years, actually are going bad. And I'm going to show you a quick list of that real quick. And if you can see, this is kind of the list that have, that have been affected with USB-C failures. The USB-C actually does the charging, and that's what's kind of going on with there. So you can see all these models are affected. I know they're trying to do more drivers and firmware packages, but most of the time these type of issues are more hardware. I would at least contact them if you have one of these models. Just give them a contact just to let just to see what they can do for you. Um, so these are kind of the instances where m something might happen. It just doesn't work at all. The controller is invisible in device manager, HDMI output. So a lot, it does seem kind of more like a board issue. This does seem more like a hardware issue than what a driver can fix. If you have any type of glitches or anything with those, try to get contact Lenovo and see what they can do for you. All right, so we're just going to be replacing this board. And I actually did get the new one in. Even Lenovo, it's sometimes a little bit harder to find some parts for them. But... We were actually fortunate enough to find this one because it seems to be a little bit more popular. Lenovo used to be, if I'm not mistaken, of course they still use a ThinkPad. They still use the ThinkPad brand today, but it's not quite like it used to be back in the day. Um, I believe a Chinese company bought them out, so they still use that same brand name with ThinkPads, and um, those used to be really reliable back in the day. Now the quality isn't quite there like it used to be back in the day. Um, they used to make really really nice reliable laptops now it's not as much we do get a lot of boards with lenovo and even for them it is a little bit harder to repair them it's usually harder to find some reports um they're just not made like they quite used to be don't get me wrong they're still decent laptops but the repairs and everything do make it a lot more difficult so so this is what it's supposed to look like you can see that piece is on top it's kind of like a whitish it looks like a little bit white it's a little bit of a it's a metal little casing that goes on, and then there's a button here that you can press. You can press down, you can feel it, it's pretty good. Now if I compare it to this one, you can kind of see the difference here. There is a piece missing on top. So and that piece is very vital for the click to work. Since we don't know really what else is going on, if there's a solder involved that we didn't do ourselves, that we didn't do ourselves, and we don't know how the status of the board before that, if it was able to turn on because we can usually just test it to see if we can turn on so we're going to pretty much say this is a goner so let's just remove the heatsink the hard drive and it looks like the wi-fi and this should be about it we're going to just transfer that to this one and then we're just going to place the board in pop it up see if it works We've been seeing a lot of problems, not just with the Lenovo USB-C. We've actually seen it with a lot of other laptops. We've seen it with Dell's or any one that really just has charging with USB-C. It doesn't seem to be quite as reliable as the, D the DC jack. And I'm not saying just the connection-wise. I'm saying actually hardware-wise. We have seen a lot of power failures. Um, 
based on the USB-C type of the, those boards. So maybe there's maybe it's something connected to that. There's something going on there. Um, but again, you know, we're a shop, so we kind of see what other people don't see. We get more volume. Of course, you get whatever's in your area. So, so it's really hard to say if something's really good or really bad, but if we see it multiple times where we have a lot of problems with board issues on the USB-C, now you have something from Lenovo that's saying almost every single ThinkPad they've made in the last two years with USB-C has a problem, then there probably is a big problem. Um, I mean, it still is a very new technology. I mean, you see a lot in phones. It seems to be pretty reliable in phones. You don't really see them go bad too much. But it's the industry, you know, maybe they're pushing a little bit too fast for the USB-C to be a one standard, you know, people want one cable to rule them all. Most USB-C is really confusing because it actually works. It's supposed to work not only for power delivery, it's supposed to do for display, but there's actually certain generations that, that don't do display and they only do power delivery and data. So it's really confusing to see which one does what. We've seen a lot of them that do have power delivery issues and maybe there's a regulator in there or something that just doesn't work as well. And maybe it's something to do with the board and how it works because if you're trying to do power and display and all these other things with it, it's going to affect it. Because the ThinkPads... Now, I know it's going to be very soon. I know all the laptops, especially all the Apple ones, they're doing it. Now, to, to credit them, actually, most of the MacBooks, um, the newer MacBooks, it's just a removable piece that you can do. It attaches to the board. You can actually remove the, the, the USB-C ports and put new ones in if you need to, which is pretty cool. Now, it's interesting, but why would they do that for a board? They never did that before in the past. They usually just did the, well, they actually usually just do the power port. You can unplug it. It's a separate board by itself. It's usually a sister board like on the MacBook Airs. Any type of repair that you ever do on anything, make sure you take out the battery, first of all, if you're going to attempt anything. If it's going to be anything, if you just take it open and it doesn't look like a cable you can replace, um, I really wouldn't recommend doing this. A lot of this stuff is very fragile work. We put in a lot of time and effort to figure out how to do this stuff. It does take a lot of time. So I really don't recommend replacing certain things. If you want to do the battery, that's fine. I can suggest that. But if you're even doing the jack here, sometimes you can mistouch something and it was short. So you have to have like a steady hand. And this takes a lot of experience to do all these types of repairs. And they're also different. And of course, we even make mistakes. So I would advise if you do have a problem that has something with a power button, or something that's uh, anything outside of a battery or just like a removable keyboard, I would definitely recommend just taking it to a professional. Just let them look it up. I normally don't recommend trying to do repairs, especially um, if it's something that you're not too familiar with, if you're just doing it for the first time. You can look it up. Most of the time you can just unplug a battery and then just take it up. So that's, I would recommend, you can probably just do something like that, but any other type of repairs, like, like something like this, this is something very difficult to do, even if you know what you're doing. So. I can't really recommend <laughs> recommend doing taking up the board and soldering, especially if you never even did it before. You know, it's not your hot glue gun at Home Depot that you use. We spend thousands of dollars on these on these equipments that to actually do all this work here. And to say you can do it at home and then bring me something like this, all this stuff is very specific to what we do. We like to show people this is what we do. We do board level repairs. We do component level. Um, we don't mess around, and we take it very seriously. Uh, we make videos just to kind of show you guys, educate you guys, just have a little fun here, you know, have a little talk about what we think. Um, again, all this is opinions, you know. All right, turns on, keyboard's on. See, the screen comes up. All right, we have a screen. Fantastic. Looks like the motherboard. It's good. Looks like the hard drive's loading. All right, so it does power on. It works. Seems to be charging. Everything does look pretty good. Um, we just kind of show you what what we get. Sometimes we get some of these, you know, little bags. Someone tries to fix themselves. That's fine. We can do that. Um, if you don't really know what you're doing, just try to let us look at it first. You know, and see what we can do. It makes our job easier, and it's a lot cheaper too. Because if we have to be fixing boards, if we have to be replacing something, it saves us all a lot of time and hassle and even money. For to be honest. Um, so anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching. Um, again here, check out this list. If you do see your laptop based on this list, um, please go contact them and see what you can do about your ThinkPad models. If you have any of these problems here, 
or if you have a ThinkPad that you bought in the last few years, just go check it out. It could be a board repair that you could get done now, and then it's going to cost you way, way more in the future. So even though everything's working now, make sure you do back up your data if you're sending anything in, of course, before. Really hope you enjoy this video. Um, please leave a like down below. It really does help us a lot. So please subscribe if you like our content. So we're going to be pushing a lot more stuff out. We do have a lot of other tools. We want to kind of use that and kind of show you what we really do here. So yeah, just stay tuned for that. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you really enjoyed. Bye.